ಭಕ್ತಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮನೋಭೀಷ್ಟಂ ಸ್ಥಾಪಿತೇ ಬಾಜು ಮೇಲೆ ಘಾಸ್ ಹೈ ಲೇಕಿನ್ ಬೀಚ್ ಮೇಸ ಲಗ್ರ ಕೋಯ್ ತೋ ಚಲ ಗ
and then people walk on that path. Then more than 100 people will walk on that path. Then 1,000 people will walk on that path. And slowly again it becomes a road. Is it not? So for everyone else, the road is there. But for the first person, there is no road. So he is called a path breaker. So who is a Mahajan? Mahajan is a person. He creates a path for others to follow. If we look at the situation in this material world, we don't know how to do it. But if you follow the path that is given by any of the 12 Mahajans, then you will understand. This is simply amazing. So similarly, Prahlad Maharaj is one of the Mahajans. Is there any age limit for the Mahajans? Bhishma is an old person. Older than Bhishma is Lord Brahma. Brahma is the first created living entity in this universe. So Bhishma is there and on the other side Prahlad, a seven year old boy is also there. He became a Mahajan at seven years age. It means anybody can become a Mahajan if you have that kind of dedication. And very few people can become a Mahajan one time. One Tushta Krishna Maharaj was there in Prabhupada's time. And Prabhupada was explaining to him about the twelve Mahajans. And Tushta Krishna Maharaj told Prabhupada, Prabhupada, you are the thirteenth Mahajan. Hmm. And Prabhupada immediately said, and you are the 14th. <laughs> so, Prabhupada was really a very amazing personality. With very quick replies and with quick answers, he revealed his heart actually. So when we read the Bhagavatam, we feel there are only 12 Mahajans and the list stopped there. But when this disciple said, Prabhupada, you are the 13th Mahajan, is Prabhupada not a Mahajan? He created a path. Who thought in the West, the Russians and the Chinese and everyone will start chanting Hare Krishna? And not just for meditation, actually understanding that Krishna, the blue colored boy, is the supreme personality of Godhead. They are not chanting a song. We don't know the meaning of that song. The Westerners are not chanting Hare Krishna as a song. The Westerners are chanting Hare Krishna as the method of deliverance in the yoga. Understanding Radha Rani, understanding Krishna, what a great transformation. So when Prabhupada is being told you are the 13th Mahajan, Prabhupada could have just accepted that glory and said, yes, yes, now you understand my position. But Prabhupada did not stop there. Prabhupada immediately said, you are the 14th Mahajan. So what is Prabhupada saying? Prabhupada is saying, actually all of us, if we are really sincere, we can also become path breakers. But to become a path breaker, first we have to understand what is the path. Then we can break it. And we have to understand the destination of that path. Then we will take the path to the right destination. Otherwise, we will take a path. We will become a path breaker, but to the wrong destination. So that's why when we hear about the existing Mahajans, when we hear about the, the great personalities on the path of Bhakti, we understand what is the destination and we understand how they created the path to the right destination. Then in our own lives, by following these Mahajans, maybe one day, if the Lord desires, we can also create a path for others. Otherwise, we are happy following the path of the existing margins. So, Shripad Madhavacharya, one of our great Acharyas, in uh, one Bhagavatam purport, Shri Prabhupada quotes him. And Shri Madhavacharya quotes from Skanda Purana. In the Skanda Purana, it is mentioned all the 12 Mahajans are worshipable. But of all the 12 Mahajans, the best Mahajan is Sri Prahlad Maharaj. More than Shankar, more than Lord Brahma, more than Bhishma. Prahlad Maharaj is the best Mahajan. So the question comes, why is it like this? How can we say this Mahajan, although he is Mahajan, he is less Mahajan and Prahlad is the greatest? So in answer to that, Gopi Paranadan Prabhu he is the personality who completed the Bhagavatam after Srila Prabhupada left this world. Srila Prabhupada left this world when he was translating Canto 10. Chapter 14. So after Canto 10, Chapter 14, all the rest of the chapters, the 11th Canto, the 12th Canto were completed by His Holiness Ridayanan Das Goswami Maharaj and Gopi Paranadan Prabhu. Both of them they wrote all the purports to continue and complete the Bhagavad So Gopi Paranadan Prabhu explains why one of the Mahajans like Prahlad Maharaj is the greatest Mahajan in the presence of all these great personalities. So there he quotes. One of the shlokas from 11th canto, chapter number 14, shloka number 15. So this is Lord Krishna speaking to Uddhav. And what does Lord Krishna speak to Uddhav? Na tatha me priyatama atma yo nirda shankaraha 
So you read all the shlokas in the sixth chapter. Krishna mentioned you sit straight, your neck should be straight, you should not be bent down, you should not be up, and your eyes should be half closed, not completely closed. If you completely close, then you go to sleep. <laughs> and with eyes half closed, your eyes should be on the tip of the nose. Yes. Whatever Lord Krishna describes in the sixth chapter of the Gita, you see the picture of Lord Shiva. It exactly matches. So Lord Shiva is sometimes called the Original yogi, Adi yogi. So, Krishna is saying, Uddha, Mujhe Brahma ji bhi priya nahi hai, Mujhe Shankar ji bhi priya nahi hai, Mujhe Balram ji bhi priya nahi hai, Mujhe Lakshmi ji bhi priya nahi hai, Jitne aap priya hai. Now, Lakshmi Devi is so dear to Lord Vishnu. She is the one who has been given a permanent place on the chest of Lord Vishnu next to his heart. So, Lakshmi Devi is so pure. Lakshmi Devi is so chaste that Narayan told Lakshmi Devi, why are you sitting there? You should be on my heart. And on the chest of Lord Vishnu, there is some golden hair, Bal, which is called Shri Vatsa. And the Shri Vatsa on the chest is actually representative of Lakshmi Devi. Actually, Lord Vishnu told you should sit on my heart, but Lakshmi Devi is so chaste, so pure, and in so much service and duty, she said, if I sit on the chest, I will enjoy your association. The goal of life is not to enjoy your association, the goal of life is to serve you. So she is being pulled by Krishna, Lord Narayan, to sit on the chest. But Lakshmi Devi says, There is no point in sitting on the chest. I will sit near your feet and do Pada Samvahan, Pada Sevan. Where? How, how high is the standard? The she says, I want to sit near the feet, and Lord Vishnu says, No, 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 you come close. But here Lord Krishna is saying, Uddhav is, so why is it like this? See, when Lord Brahma was born, did he undergo any struggle to get the favor of Krishna? Was there somebody stopping him from achieving the favor of Krishna? No, his only struggle was when he was born, there was nobody else. <laughs> there was nobody to stop him, there was nobody to encourage him, but there was nobody to stop him. Did he pay any price? No struggles. Lord Sankarshan, Lord Balaram, he is the first expansion of Krishna. So as soon as Krishna exists, Sankarshan exists. So can anybody stop Sankarshan from worshipping Krishna? Shankarji is also, in one is not different from Krishna, like Dahi is not different from milk. So Shankarji was so powerful. Did you read any story where somebody stopped Lord Shiva from worshipping Lord Vishnu? And what about Lakshmiji? Did anybody obstruct the service of Lakshmi Ji told Vishnu. So why Lord Krishna is mentioning Na Tatha Me Priyatama? Why Lord Balram, Lord Shiva, Lord Brahma and Lakshmi Ji is not as dear to me as you, Uddhav? Because Uddhav had to undergo struggle in his life to achieve the favor of Krishna. Actually, Uddhav loves Krishna so much. And towards the last part of his life, he wanted to leave with Krishna, but Krishna told him, I have a seva for you. What is that? I am giving a message. You carry that message to the sages in Badri Kashtra. So somebody who was a constant companion of Krishna in Dwarka, how close he is, he never wears any fresh clothes. Whatever garments Krishna has used, only those garments Buddha uses. All his clothes, his garlands, whatever Uddhav wears, you should understand, he only wears the Mahaprasad of Krishna. That's why 
is so much Krishnaized. Actually, he even looks like Krishna. And that's why when Uddhav was sent by Krishna to Vrindavan, after Krishna left, he sent a message with Uddhav to the Vrajvasis. So Uddhav went to Nandala. Uddhav went and talked to Yashoda Bhai and Nanda Maharaj. Yes? And his chariot was there <coughs> outside Nandala. So when the gopis in the morning, first time when they saw that there is a chariot there, they thought, oh, Krishna has come back. And from a distance, when they saw that somebody was talking to Nanda Maharaj and Yashoda Bhai, his complexion is also like Krishna. His clothes are also like Krishna. Everything about it, the way he talks is also like Krishna only. Because he's so Krishnaized, thinking constantly about Krishna. That they thought Krishna only has come back. And they were very happy. And when they went close to see Krishna has come, then they realized, oh, this is not Krishna. This is Uddham. So such a person who is so close to Krishna, Krishna told him, I have a seva for you. You go away from me. You go far away from me and you go to Madhrikashram and you tell the sages there what is my message for them before I leave this planet. So this is a very tough seva. Whole life you have been with Krishna. And now Krishna is saying, I want you to go away. Can you imagine how it breaks the heart? And that's why when we talk about the Vrajvasis, always, why Vrajvasis are glorified? Not because they were constantly with Krishna, but because Krishna left them. And even though Krishna left them, Krishna could not leave their hearts. At the age of 11 and a half years, Krishna left Vrindavan. And he said, I will come. He promised. But did he come back? He didn't come back. And the rest of their life, the Vrajavasis kept thinking, oh, Krishna will come back. How far is Mathura from Vrindavan? 12 kilometers. 12 kilometers is nothing for villagers. Whole life, the Vrajavasi, because he went to Mathura, he didn't go to Dwarka. When he left Vrindavan, he said, I am going to Dwarka only. I went to Mathura only. The Kamsa has invited me. They kept waiting for the whole life. They, they could have gone to Mathura. But you know why none of the Vrajavasis even went to Mathura to check out where is Krishna? Because they were thinking, the day when we go to Mathura to check if Krishna is there, and what if that is the day when Krishna chooses to come back? So when if Krishna comes to Vrindavan and he finds out, Hey, you are not in Vrindavan, where are you? No, no, we went to check you in Mathura. It means you didn't trust me. I had told you, that when I leave Vrindavan, I had told you I will come back. It means you don't trust me. It means you don't have faith in me. Just to make sure. Because any day Krishna can come back. He didn't mention which day. So every single day they are thinking, today is the day when Krishna will come back. And if Krishna comes back and if we are not in Vrindavan to receive him, and we are anywhere else, Krishna will say, you didn't trust me. So how to fall down in the eyes of Krishna? We cannot fall down in the eyes of Krishna. The rest of the life, every day, in the morning they would think, I think we should go to Mathura to check if Krishna is there. But then they felt, what if today Krishna comes and he finds out we are not there? So they didn't go. And then one day they heard that Krishna has even left Mathura and has gone far away to Dwarka. But they still felt, no, no, Krishna has promised so Krishna will come back. So this kind of difficult situation is very intense. Did Brahma undergo this kind of situation? Did Shankarji undergo this kind of this Balram? Did Lakshmi undergo this kind of situation? Yesterday, one of our Brahmacharis, Nityananda, was giving a class and he spoke a very nice point which I would like to share with you. He says, in any relationship, there is a person who expresses an emotion and there is a person who accepts the emotion. So, the person who accepts the emotion is called Vishaya Vigraha. And the person who expresses that emotion is called Ashraya Vigraha. So in typical Bhakta Bhagavan relationship, the emotion that is expressed is service, love, affection, etc. Sometimes the Vrajvas is also express Krodha, anger. But all these emotions within the realm of Bhakti. So who is the Ashraya Vigraha? Ashraya Vigraha are the Vrajvasis, including Srimati Radharani. And who is the Vishaya Vigraha? Vishaya Vigraha is Krishna. Yes. But sometimes when Krishna expresses his love for the devotees, then Krishna becomes the Ashraya Vigra and the devotees become the Vishaya Vigra from Krishna's perspective. Yes? So both of them can interchange their position. So now the question is when they get separated, who experiences greater separation? Does the devotees experience greater separation from Krishna when Krishna goes away 
or does Krishna experience greater separation from the devotees when the devotees go away? For, for that, I'll give you one example. If you're standing in the temple, taking darshan, and then you go away, you will feel some separation from Krishna. What about Krishna? Does Krishna ever get away from us? Because Krishna is in the heart. Let's say somebody says, when you're taking darshan of the deities and the curtain is closed for offering, go back to the Lord. That means we cannot see Krishna, but can Krishna see us? Of course. So now the question is, does the devotee experience greater separation from Krishna or does the Krishna experience greater separation from devotee? Is that not? Devotee experiences greater separation from Krishna. Now listen to this. We experience separation from Krishna. Krishna never experiences separation because he constantly sees us. But Krishna experiences pain seeing that this devotee, because of the curtain in between, is experiencing separation from me. And Krishna is the most soft-hearted person. Are we most soft-hearted or Krishna is most soft-hearted? If you read the Brihad Bhagavata, when Gopa Kumar, there is the journey of Gopa Kumar, there is one devotee from Govardhan, his journey is described in part 2 of Brihad Bhagavata. When he reaches the doors of Vrindavan, Kolo Vrindavan in the spiritual world, Krishna and all his coward boy friends, they come running as Gopa Kumar is entering Vrindavan. And Krishna embraces and tells, Where have you been? And Krishna and Gopakumar both collapse. Out of love. Gopakumar has been struggling in his sadhana to meet Krishna and finally is meeting Krishna. But why does Krishna collapse? Because Krishna was waiting for Gopakumar to reach Guru Vrindavan. He is thinking, when will this devotee come? He was here in the spiritual world, but he fell down and he went to the material world and I am missing him so much. So Krishna and Gopakumar both collapse. Out of extreme happiness. Now the golden question, who gets up first? <laughs> Both fall unconscious, but who gets consciousness first? Your team. Gopumar. Gopumar pehle jag jate hai, and then Gopumar is looking around, Krishna is still unconscious. What does that mean? Socha, socha, is a chodhu nahi hai? Krishna is still unconscious means, Krishna's happiness at meeting Gopakumar is more than Gopakumar's happiness at meeting Krishna. It means Gopakumar's missing Krishna in the material world was much lesser than Krishna's missing all of us and Gopakumar in the spiritual world. So who is most soft-hearted? Krishna. Krishna. That is what is point. So Krishna can see us, but because he can see us, he can see that we are missing him because the curtain is there. So his pain of separation from the devotee is more than the devotee's separation from Krishna because of that mistake. So this is Krishna. And Uddhav is a devotee like that. So Uddhav has been given a seva to go away from Krishna. So Uddhav is more dear to Krishna than Shankar, Sankarshan, Brahmaji and Shrimati Lakshmi Devi because Uddhav has undergone tapasya to meet Krishna. And by this logic, why is Prahlad Maharaj the greatest Mahajan out of the twelve Mahajans? He has paid a price. Kiman Chukai hai. Kaisi Kiman Chukai hai? Dhruv Maharaj's story, Dhruv Maharaj wants to sit on the lap of his father. At that time his stepmother, Sotengi Ma, she says, you cannot sit on your father's lap. If you want to sit on your father's lap, you die and you take birth from my mother. So, what hurt Dhruv Maharaj is not the words of Suruchi. Because Sotheli Mata Sotheli Maharaj, she is going to speak here. Actually, he was hurt by the words of Suruchi, but what hurt him more, what pierced his heart, is the silence of his father. She will speak like that, but father should speak. He is also my son. Only your son is not my son. So let him sit on this lap and let your son sit on this lap. Don't argue with him. He is my son, one of my sons. Thank you. Father kept quiet. So Dhruv was hurt by father's silence. So what is the expectation of a son from his father? In times of difficulty, 
when I need your support, speak a few words of support. When a father is, when a son grows up, recently one of our devotees in IYS, he came and told me, his father has told him, now you leave home. He's a young boy like you, unmarried. And his father recently told him, you leave home and you start off your own business and whatever you want to do. I'm no longer going to support you. He was heartbroken. He came and told me, Prabhuji, मुझे घर से निकाल दिया मेरे पिताजी ने बोल रहे हैं अभी तुम खुद का घर देखो तुम खुद का बिजनेस देखो मैं तो पालन पोषण नहीं करने वाला कैन यू इमेजिन व्हाट इज गोइंग ऑन इन द डिवोटेड हार्ट कैन यू इमेजिन व्हाट व्हाट वाज हैव हैपेंड इन ध्रुवा हार्ट सो व्हाट हैपेंड इन ध्रुवा हार्ट ध्रुवा स्टार्टेड हिज हिसिंग लाइक अ स्नेक एंड ही वेंट टू हिज मदर एंड सेड बिफोर ही स्पोक एनीथिंग एक्चुअली द न्यूज़ हैड ऑलरेडी रीच्ड सुनीति एंड सुनीति सेड डोंट वरी फर्स्ट डोंट think evil about those who did evil to you first thing she says and then the rest of the story so the point is a son expects support from the father a son expects love from the father just by keeping quiet dhruva is hurt so much chup baithne se dhruva ko itna bura laga similarly what about prahlad's case is prahlad's father keeping quiet Pralhan's father is every day planning newer and newer ways to kill Pralhan. See, both of them are young boys, but see the relationship with the father. His father just kept quiet. He didn't insult Dhruv. He didn't throw him down. Because of that, also Dhruv was so angered. Can you imagine how much anger could have been in Pralhan's heart when he understood, "I am staying in a palace, and the next palace is father's palace, and in the father's palace, every evening there is a meeting." With all the assistance of the Indian Kishu, but the Indian Kishu was saying, "Aaj kaise maarne ki koshish kiya usko?" And they said, "We put him in a pit of snakes." And the Indian Kishu was saying, "So we mara ki thi?" We could not mara. Then what will we do? They are very big hands, they are going to kill him. We will put him in the midst of elephants and report to me tomorrow. Did he die? In this way, every day newer and newer ways to kill Prahlad were being discussed in the neighboring palace. So if Dhruva is hurt by the silence of his father, how much potential is there in Prahlad to get hurt by every day new planning to kill him? But what was Prahlad's response to his father? Did he ever insult his father? Did he ever hurt his father? Did he ever shout at his father? Actually, when Hiranyakashipu uh, at one point of time he asks, "So Prahlad, what did you listen to?" He says, "Oh, best of us." वृंदावन जब तक आप भगवान को नहीं पकड़ेंगे तभी तक आपको पीस ऑफ माइंड नहीं मिलेगा ऐसे अच्छे से रिस्पेक्टफुली बताया होता है कुछ चीखे नहीं चिल्ला है कुछ नहीं किया होगा एंड इन रिस्पॉन्स टू दिस हम्बल बिहेवियर ऑफ प्रहलाद टुवर्ड्स हिज सुपर एग्रेसिव मर्डरस फादर व्हाट इज हिरण्यकश्यप का रिस्पॉन्स टू सच अ जेंटलमैन सर हिरण्यकश्यप का रिस्पॉन्स इज ही इज ट्राइंग टू किल हिज सन इन सो मेनी न्यूअर एंड न्यूअर वेज So at one point of time, this is seven point five point four six and four seven. At one point of time, Hiranyakashipu is so frustrated by seeing that Pralad cannot be hurt, Pralad cannot be killed, Pralad cannot be touched. And what all he has done? Can any one of you tell me what all he was done to attempt to kill Pralad? Just one each. फायर में डाला होलिका को बोला इस सिस्टर होलिका यस डिड नॉट वर्क थ्रोन फ्रॉम ए क्लिफ थ्रोन फ्रॉम ए क्लिफ डिड नॉट वर्क जहरीले सांप के बीच में हां दी एलिफेंट्स पॉइजनस स्नेक्स पॉइजन खीर हां ओके गिव मी पॉइजनस फूड ओके यस बर्न अलाइव हॉट ऑयल Pierce by trident, shall we go for? Yes. Anything else? Uh, 
थ्रोइंग सी और बोलो भागवत में सुखदेव गोस्वामी बोल रहे ही कास्ट स्पेल्स ऑन इट अलग अलग जादू तो ना किया इल्यूजरी ट्रिक्स किया just like you are walking on the street and suddenly you know you see big big huge snakes from the sky coming at you it's a very fearful situation sometimes when it's thunder and lightning you become fearful na to aisa bada bada illusion create darane ke liye and all this was done with very harsh speech yes so i don't want to make if somebody shouts at you abey kada kya kar raha hai possible change You know, can you imagine that Rakshasas with fearful teeth, with fearful face, with very fearful voice, pierce him, chop him, kill him. You know, surrounded on all sides by these Rakshasas and trying to kill him in different ways. And what is Pralha's response? Pralha is sitting with his hands like this, closing his eyes and remembering Lord Vishnu. He never ever spoke a bad word. He never ever doubted Krishna. आप है कि नहीं कहीं देख रहे थे मेरे ऊपर क्या हो सकता है? With fun, so Prajnan is so nice, Prajnan is so amazing. And at the end of trying to kill him in unlimited ways, including speech, including actions, including magic, and everything else, this is the shloka number that I told you. You know what happened? This is Hiranya Kashyap's words. Actually, this boy is very near to me. Pass me, khada. Door nahi khada. Dekh raha hai. Mere pas kitni shakti hai. Dekh raha hai ki main kitna kruur hoon. Dekh raha hai ki maine ek ishara kiya to ye saare devta mere samne naach rahe. This boy is very near to me. He is merely a child, but he is situated in complete fearlessness. Actually, he is like a dog's curved tail. Kutte ki pooch kaise kaise teedi se dikha raha hai? Saare ye. इसको मैं सीधा करने की कोशिश कर रहा हूं हो नहीं रहा है व्हाई एम आई कॉलिंग हिम लाइक दिस व्हाई एम आई कॉलिंग हिम शुदन शेपा आई एम कॉलिंग हिम शुदन शेपा बिकॉज़ ही नेवर फॉरगेट्स माय मिसबिहेवियर एंड ही नेवर फॉरगेट्स हिज कनेक्शन विद हिज मास्टर लॉर्ड विष्णु सो सम ऑफ अस वेरी सटन पॉइंट्स सम ऑफ अस कैन फील प्रभु जी प्रल्हाद है ना शायद यू नो समटाइम्स व्हाट हैपेंस ना व्हेन टू मच अब्यूज हैपेंस यू बिकम insensitive do you understand this point when somebody you know like go to play mridanga if you regularly if they play mridanga you should see their fingers they become thick skin you know where every day there is rubbing if you play kartal sometimes when the kartal touches the fingers it becomes thick skin if you are a cricketer and you regularly play you know you are a batsman then those fingers so everywhere there is rubbing na wo insensitive ho jata hai waise hi in our life if there is regular mental abuse you know somebody in our family somebody in the office in our friends if we regularly speaking harsh words to us we become insensitive and there are many aspects of this so sometimes we could think there was so much abuse every day systematically in verbal physical happening to brother we could feel he must have become insensitive tala marathi madhe shabd hai how many marathi मराठी मध्ये त्याला म्हणतात बधीरपण समजले ओला दीवार जैसा हो जाता है नॉट इन अ पॉझिटिव वे इट इज नॉट मात्रा स्पर्श असो कोणते इन अ नेगेटिव वे यू नो उसको बोलतात तू गधा है तू नहीं सही एंड देन समबडी कम्स एंड सेज अरे फॉरगेट इट ये तो ऐसे ही है ये तो सब कोई बुरा बना देता है एक्चुअली यू आर अ नाइस बॉय नो रिस्पोंस बिकॉज़ सो मच you know somebody blasphemes you and somebody thinks ill about you you lose all sensitivity and you become a dead stone you understand the point so many times abused victims when they go to a psychiatrist the first thing that the psychiatrist has to do is to first awaken the emotions that are now dead so prahlad maharaj has undergone so much abuse but he did not become a dead stone you have to appreciate prahlad's greatness that he did not become badhir he did not become a wall and he never forgot the misbehavior of his relationship but he overpowered the memories of misbehavior of his relationship with his love for krishna he has not become deaf he has not become blind he has not become self insensitive he is not saying 
जो कर रहा है करो मुझे कुछ फर्क नहीं पड़ता इन अवर टेम्पल वन टाइम यू नो ऑन द सीसीटीवी कैमरा वी गॉट वन थीफ तो सब माता जी इज वेन कम फॉर कुकिंग सेवा दे कीप देयर बैग्स सो दिस थीफ वुड गो एंड सिट देयर एंड देयर देयर बैग मैसेज ऑन द फॉर्टी वन सीसीटीवी कैमरा तो उसको एक रूम में लेके गए पहले सब ब्रह्मचारी वेयर देयर एंड सम सिक्योरिटी गार्ड्स वेयर देयर हेलो हम एक ही था वो धोती कुर्ता तिलक सब पहन के आया <laughs> और उसको पूछा कि तूने कुछ चोरी किया क्या सेट नाउ वी सेड वी हैव सीन यू डूइंग इट बोलो चोरी किया कि नहीं हमने नहीं किया उसको सीसीटीवी रूम में लेके गए और उसको कैमरा का जो रिकॉर्डिंग था वो दिखाया एंड ही सो हिमसेल्फ ऑन द स्क्रीन स्पीलिंग फिर उसको पूछा ये तू ही है कि नहीं यू नो व्हाट ही डिड ही पुट हिज हैंड इन हिज कुर्ता ही टुक अप वन पिल ये कुछ तो गोली निकाला उसने पूरी तैयारी के साथ <laughs> अगर पकड़े गए तो गोली खा लेते उसके में कितना भी पीटो मारो यू नो यू स्पीक हार्श इट दैट इट डजंट मैटर दे हैव बिकम इनसेंसिटिव प्रलाद इज नॉट लाइक दैट सो ही इज सेइंग आई डोंट नो हाउ ही कैन बी सो फियरलेस बट माइंड यू ही हैज नॉट बिकम अ डेड स्टोन ही नोस द मिसबिहेवियर ऑफ हिज फादर बट ही सेज दिस जीवात्मा माय फादर इज एक्चुअली अनफॉर्चूनेट दैट ही हैज नॉट मेड एनी विश नाउ This Jivatma, my father, is unfortunate that he has not received the mercy of any devotees or the Lord Vishnu, and so unfortunate. When I was in the womb, Narad Muni met my mother, and when I was in the womb, Narad Muni spoke to my mother. But Narad Muni, when he was speaking to his mother, his mother was in anxiety. उस समय इंग्रेडिएंट का शब्द तपस्या के लिए गया था. He impregnated Kayadu. इंग्रेडिएंट का शब्द impregnated Kayadu and went for tapas. तो बच्चा पैदा हो गया लेकिन मां सोच रही है मेरे लिए कशुम का बाय एंड का बाय एंड सो हर बॉडी वाज सिटिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ नारद मुनि बट हर माइंड वाज समवेयर एल्स एंड दैट्स व्हाई श्रीनवन अपि न श्रीनवन शी हर्ड द साउंड वाइब्रेशन फेल ऑन द ईयर बट हर माइंड वाज नॉट देयर सो शी डिड नॉट बेनिफिट फ्रॉम द इंस्ट्रक्शंस ऑफ नारद मुनि बट द चाइल्ड इन द बुक ऑफ तयादु थिक वॉल ऑफ फ्लैश पेट के एम्ब्रायो को कितना ध्वनि जाता है छोटा सा जाता है ना बट ही वाज ईगरली हियरिंग एंड प्रहलाद महाराज बिकेम द प्रहलाद महाराज हु इज बेस्ट ऑफ द ऑल द ट्वेल्व महाशयस हाउ हाउ हियरिंग अटेंटिव व्हाट इज द श्लोक ऑन व्हिच द प्रभु पाद गिव मैक्सिमम लेक्चर्स इन गीता यस एनी सो अवर प्रभु जय किशन प्रभु है ना जय किशन प्रभु ही इज सेइंग प्रभु पर डिड नॉट गिव मैक्सिमम लेक्चर्स ऑन मनमना मनमना प्रभु इज सेइंग ही डिड नॉट गिव मैक्सिमम लेक्चर्स ऑन सर्व धर्मान परित्यज्य एक्चुअली मैक्सिमम लेक्चर्स श्री प्रभु पर गिव इज ऑन 7.1 एंड यू नो व्हाट इज 7.1 मैया सक्त मन पार्थ योगम युंजन मदाश्रय हम असंशयम समग्रम मां ध्यान से सुनिए मैं क्या बोल रहा हूं अर्जुन एंड प्रभु पर यूज दिस श्लोका फॉर मैक्सिमम लेक्चर्स ऑफ द गीता बिकॉज़ ही वांटेड टू एम्फसाइज द कलियुगा ऑडियंस यू डोंट हैव टू बी बोर्न इन अ ब्राह्मण फैमिली टू अंडरस्टैंड कृष्ण यू डोंट हैव टू गो टू ऑल द 108 दिव्य देशस टू अंडरस्टैंड कृष्ण यू डोंट हैव टू बी अ बिग चैरिटेबल पर्सन टू अंडरस्टैंड कृष्ण कंप्लीटली एंड विदाउट व्हाट यू हैव टू डू सिट and attentively listen so one shloka later is 7.3 anybody knows what is 
मनुष्याण सहस्रेश वन सहस्त्र मीन्स वन थाउजंड अँड सहस्त्रेशू मीन्स मेनी मेनी थाउजंड सो मनुष्याण सहस्त्रेशु कश्चित येत ती सिद्ध आहे आउट ऑफ थाउजंड अँड थाउजंड ऑफ मॅन वन एंडेवर्स फॉर परफेक्शन यतताम अपि सिद्धानाम कश्चित माम व्यक्ति तत्वतः अँड आउट ऑफ मिलियन्स ऑफ दोज हु हॅव अचीव्ह परफेक्शन हार्डली वन नोज बीन टूथ सो सेवन पॉईंट वन He said, "If you want to know me without doubt, and if you want to know me completely, sit and listen." And 7.3 he says, "Out of millions and billions of people, hardly one knows me in truth." What is the understanding that we can get by keeping these two shlokas, 7.1 and 7.3? You keep next to each other. What can we learn from this? Very few listen attentively. It's very interesting. बैठ के सुनना है ध्यान पूर्वक और ये बोल रहे हैं भगवान मुझे जानने के लिए और कोई तरीका नहीं है पुण्य नहीं है दान नहीं है धर्म नहीं है तीर्थाटन नहीं है कुछ नहीं आप मुझे कैसे जानेंगे जब मैं बताऊंगा वट इज माई फादर्स कैन यू टेल मी माई फादर्स ट्राई कीजिए कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं आई वॉन्ट माइंड सुरेश राम मनुष्यो It means he is saying millions and millions of people have the opportunity to hear, but they don't hear. Seven point nineteen. Again he says, "What is seven point nineteen? Bahuna janmana mante, bahuna janmana mante. Bahut bahut janmo ke baad mein gyanvan maam prapatte the. Vasu deva sarvamiti samahatma." श्लोक मालूम है लेकिन दुर्लभ है ना दुर्लभ मीन्स वेरी रेयर एंड सो दुर्लभ मीन्स एक्सट्रीमली रेयर सो कृष्ण से मेनी मेनी बर्स वन पर्सन इन नॉलेज अंडरस्टैंड दैट कृष्ण इज एवरीथिंग वाई मेनी मेनी बर्स कृष्ण जस्ट नो सेवन पॉइंट वन इज बुक सेट एंड लिसन वाई यू आर स्पेंडिंग मेनी मेनी बर्स बिकॉज मेनी मेनी बर्स वी वॉन्ट टू नो कृष्ण माई अवर ओन एंड एवर वी आर नॉट रेडी टू सिट एंड लिसन 7.26. Anybody know 7.26? Huh? Very nice. Give me a clap. Krishna says in 7.26, Veda mam samadhi dani vartamana ni shastrana. Bhavishya ni cha bhuta ni maam tu Veda na dashchana. Krishna says Veda mam samadhi dani. I know everything. I know Bhavishya also. I know Bhutkal also. Maam tu. Tu means but. In English, but is Sanskrit tu. Maam tu Veda na kashya, but nobody knows me. So 7.3 he says nobody knows me. 7.19 he says hardly anybody knows me. 7.26 he says nobody knows me. And 7.1 he opened the chapter by saying, if you want to know me, asamshayam samandram maam yatha vyasati mashtrashwa. Can you imagine the simplest process is to sit and listen attentively. But three times in that chapter Krishna says, but nobody sits and listens attentively. How unfortunate we are. Prabhupada has spent years and years writing books, not for himself, for us. How unfortunate we are that we will not read a single page every day. क्या करना है मनुष्य? केवल बैठ के पढ़ना है या जो पढ़ाई करते हैं उनसे श्रवण करना है और कुछ नहीं करना. Either you read Prabhupada's books or you hear from those who are reading Prabhupada's books, you can understand Krishna completely. You can understand Krishna without a doubt. And Pralad did that. What did Pralad do? Pralad sat in the womb of his mother. He did not even sit physically. And he heard from Narad Muni for hundred celestial years. So, साल के लिए नान मुने उनकी माता को बता रहे थे माता का ध्यान कहीं और था माता ने माता का केवल शरीर था कुछ समझ में नहीं आया and then she is with Hiranyaka Shapu. But our little Pralad in the womb, he is hearing Pralad. ऐसा है ऐसा है ऐसा है ऐसा है. And he got so much staunch faith 
that our Hirandi Krishna book is saying. I can see that this is 7.5.47. I can see that the boy's strength is unlimited. This shloka translation. I can see that the boy's strength is unlimited. The Sanskrit word is abrameya. You know what is the word abrameya? In Bhagavatam, many times this word abrameya is used for Krishna. Abrameya means immeasurable. Bhagavan ko measure nahi kar sakta, to Bhagavan ke liye use hota hai ye word abrameya many times. That word Hiranya Kishu was using for Prahlad's strength. I can see this boy's strength is unlimited for he has not feared any of my punishments. He appears to be immortal. Who is saying? But who was immortal? So, there are three ways to get knowledge. Pratyaksha, Anuman and Sabda, Sabda. Sabda. शब्द You are immortal, almost, almost, right? He has immortality, but he said not possible. Then he said, "What did he say? What what did he say?" Oh Brahma, please. This is straight from the Bhagavatam. Oh Brahma, please give me a benediction. I should not be killed by any living being created by you. So created by you, me, who was covered? Who was? Sap, sarp, pashu, pakshi, machli, whatever. In the Brahma, and who is the creator? So everything is created by the first thing. वो होता है आगे लंबी लिस्ट है, ग्यारह लिस्ट है, ये पहला पढ़ा हुआ है, उसमें सब कवर हो गया। Also, I should not be killed inside my residence and outside my residence. So the आचार्य से this covers natural death, natural age related death भी होता है, तो भी अंदर होगा तो बाहर होगा, so that is also covered. So nobody can kill me and no natural death. अभी क्या बचा? कुछ नहीं बचा अभी, but एक्सीडेंट चलो अकस्मात है कि नहीं तो वो भी क्या कवर करते थे नॉट इन द डे टाइम नॉट एट नाइट टाइम नॉट इन द ग्राउंड नॉट इन द स्काई देन ही फील्स अगर कुछ बायपास हो गया तो कभी कुछ हो जाता है बायपास सो देन ही सेज आल्सो आई शुड नॉट बी किल्ड बाय एनी एनीबडी क्रिएटेड बाय अदर देन यू जस्ट इन केस देयर इज समबडी एल्स सो नॉट यू एंड नोबडी एल्स अदर देन यू नाउ आई विल आई विल यू I should not be killed by any weapon, human being or animal. The animal beach में क्यों आया? उसके भाई को animal ने मारा था। मरा है देव। तो इसलिए उसको याद है। I should not be killed by anything living and non-living. अभी क्या बचा? एक तो living है non-living। So जब तू computer fast चल रहा है और क्या क्या हो सकता है? सब cover कर दो। I should not be killed by demigod, demon or even the great snakes of Patal Loka. I should have no rival, just like you are an unrivaled person. He speaks to Brahma. You are an unrivaled person. आपके लिए सब बड़ा भी है नहीं, देवता हूँ मैं. I should also have no rival. I should have sole lordship over all living entities and the presiding deities. भूमि आप अनलवायु के सब देवता हैं ना, उनके ऊपर मैं होना चाहिए. And I also want all the glories obtained by that position. So he wants the position also. He wants the glories also. तो पहले सब जो पूछा हो क्या था नो डेथ और अभी क्या पूछ रहा है वो डेथ वगैरह की तो दूर की बात है बट आई एम अलाइव नाउ तो आई डोंट वांट ओनली नो डेथ आई वांट ए रिच लैविश ग्लोरियस लाइफ सो एंड आई वांट ऑल मिस्टिक पावर्स अटेंड बाय लॉन्ग ऑस्टेलिटीज एंड प्रैक्टिस ऑफ योगा जितने भी ऋषि मुनि होने जितनी भी तपस्या की उसे 24 दिन का वो भी सब देखो सो डेथ भी नहीं चाहिए और जीवन कैसा चाहिए लंबा पावरफुल मिस्टिक पावर्स वाला जीवन चाहिए और ये सब मिलने के बाद में व्हाट इट ब्रह्मा जी डू यू नो व्हाट ब्रह्मा जी सेज ब्रह्मा जी सेज ताते में दुर्लभ पुंसान यान प्रीडी शेवरान मम तथा पिवितराम यंग वरान यद्यपि दुर्लभ इन द सिंगल श्लोक द फर्स्ट वर्ड्स ऑफ ब्रह्मा जी देयर आर टू टाइम्स रिपीटेशन ऑफ द वर्ड दुर्लभ व्हाट यू आस्क्ड इज वेरी दुर्लभ बट यू वांट इट So I will give you Durlava. 
So if Brahma ji is speaking in the same sentence Durlabha two times, what does it mean? It is extremely rare for somebody to get this kind of boons and those boons were given by Brahma ji. So in one sense Hiranyakashuku has received Shabda that ये सब सही है कोई नहीं तुझे मार सकता प्राणी नहीं मार सकता ये नहीं मार सकता इतना सब सुनने के बाद में फियरलेसनेस आना चाहिए कि नहीं आना चाहिए हरी बोल रहा है but this person is saying I can see that his voice strength is unlimited for he has not feared any of my punishments he appears to be immortal therefore because of my enmity towards him I shall die or maybe this will not take place but he is saying this voice is immortal and maybe I will die so devotees, if they are asked this question, between Pratyaksha, Anuman and Shabda, what is the greatest? All of you unanimously use the Shabda. But if you ask this question to materialists, what do they say? Pratyaksha. They don't believe in Shabda. Gita kis ne likhi hai? Kaun si handwriting me likhi hai? Mujhe original way ne chahi hai? Yeh sab jo baate sunte to samajhna chahi hai. Isko Pratyaksha me jada pehle, Shabda me jada pehle. So just see. Hiranya Kashyapa, after doing years and years of Tapasya, he got two times Durlabha by Brahmaji, Bhul. Tathabhi Vidarami Amta. He said, I give you that. He has received meditation, not day, not night, this and that. But finally, seeing the fearlessness of Prahlad, what is happening to him, this boy is immortal, and because I have enmity with him, I am going to die. So, Hiranya Kashyapa's immortality is actually based on Shabda. Yes, but because he does not have shape, strength or uh, faith in Shabda, what is happening to him? Although he is on the highest platform for receiving benediction, he is living in fear. And our little Prahlad, he did Shravanam very effectively, very nicely. He never received any benediction from any. Kai pada, is in fear. Bhagavan ne aate bola, tujhe ye maan nahi sakta. कोई आचार्य ने बोला ब्रह्मा जी ने बोला महाजन किसी ने बोला तू तुझे कुछ कोई मार नहीं सकता तू बिंदास भक्ति कर बोला किसी ने कुछ but he has heard attentively असमशयम समग्रम माँ so he says कृष्णा has mentioned ओ अर्जुन please go and declare नमः भक्ता प्रदर्शन कृष्णा has mentioned in the Gita if you are my devotee you cannot be touched नमः भक्ता प्रदर्शन so because he has heard Krishna's words from his pure devotee attentively, he has gone to the real platform of fearlessness without receiving any shabda. No ashirva, but he is fearless. This Prabhu, Hiranyakashipu Prabhu, got so many benedictions from the highest authority in the universe called Brahma, but he is completely in fear and he is thinking, maybe I will die. What does this mean to us? What it means to us is, till the time we are on the platform of Pratyaksha, we may be on the receiving end of the highest shabda, but we will be fearful. Jo mila hai, usse jada important hai ki hamari chetana kya hai. Isko shabda mila, lekin iska platform pratyaksha ka hai. Aur Prahlad Prabhu hai humare, Prahlad Mahajan hai, unka actually consciousness is on shabda. Because he is believing in the words of shabda receiving from Naramuni. Actually his life pratyaksha is based on fear. प्रत्यक्ष क्या चल रहा है प्रलाद के जीवन में क्या चल रहा है प्रलाद के जीवन में रोज उसको मारने के लिए अलग-अलग तरह की हो रही है his life is प्रत्यक्ष based on fear but his शब्द is fearlessness हिरण्य कश्यपुस action life is fearlessness because his शब्द is fearlessness but his प्रत्यक्ष is इसको कुछ हो नहीं रहा है तो मेरा क्या होगा ये कालिया मैं तो मर जाऊँगा how important it is that if we really want to become fearless we don't have to become jujutsu fighters you learn, no problem in learning. You do yoga, you do, you learn some karate and this and that. But actually, Mari Krishna, Rakhi ke. If Krishna wants to kill you, who can protect you? Rakhi Krishna, Mari ke. So there's a very beautiful shloka in Padhyavali. Padhyavali is a book written by Rupa Goswami and he has combined different shlokas, which are very inspirational. So I'll read that shloka. Ambodhi istalatam sthalam janaditam Dhuli lava shailatam, shailo mrutkanatam trunam kunashitam, vajram trunakshi enatam, vahani shitanatam himam dahanatam, ayati yasse chaya, lila durlalita bhuta vyasadine, krishna yatasmai namaha. So here what is mentioned, I'll explain. 
अंबोध ही स्थलता अंबु अंबु मीन्स वॉटर लोटस इज कॉल्ड अंबुचर दैट विच ग्रोज इन वॉटर अंबुध ही स्थलता इफ कृष्ण बॉन्ड देन ही कैन मेक एन ओशन ड्राई स्थलम जलधिता एंड समथिंग दैट इज ड्राई कृष्ण कैन मेक इट फुल ऑफ वॉटर धूली लव छोटा सा धूल का कण है शैलताम कृष्ण कैन मेक ए बिग माउंटेन व्हेन देयर इज अ स्मॉल लिटिल पार्टिकल ऑफ डस्ट शैलो मृत कण था एंड व्हेन देयर इज अ माउंटेन कृष्ण कैन ट्रांसफॉर्म इट इनटू अ स्मॉल कण त्रिनम कुलशिता कुलशिता मींस वज्र एंड त्रिनम त्रिनम मींस स्मॉल ब्लेड ऑफ ग्रास इफ कृष्ण वांट्स ही कैन ट्रांसफॉर्म अ स्मॉल ब्लेड ऑफ ग्रास इनटू अ वेपन एंड वज्रम त्रिनम शीलता and you can make the greatest weapon of indra into a small grass blade vahani shitalata vahani means water uh, fire vahani shitalata means he can make fire into a very cooling sensation himam dahanata himam means ice ice dahanata means he can make ice into burning ayati yasya chaya ye sab kabhi hoga jab unki ichha hogi leela durlalita adbhuta ये जो लीला है भगवान की ये बहुत अद्भुत लीला है ऐसा नहीं है कृष्ण या तस्मी नमा इफ कृष्ण वॉन्ट एंड कृष्ण कैन डू ऑल दिस यस सो व्हाट इज द स्पेशल क्वालिटी ऑफ प्रल्हाद प्रल्हाद नेवर एवर आर्ग्यूड विद हिज फादर प्रल्हाद नेवर शाउटेड विद हिज फादर प्रल्हाद नेवर रोट ए ब्लॉग अगेंस्ट हिज फादर प्रल्हाद नेवर गिव अ वोइशनल एटिकेट अगेंस्ट हिज फादर बट इट इज ओन हार्ट इज सिचुएटेड इन हिज गुरुज वर्ड्स is meditating on his guru's words my guru maharaj told me namo bhakta pranash and is focusing more on the instructions received from his guru maharaj and just by staying in that consciousness although pranash has been attempted to be every single day in more and more ways he is so much fearless that he has created fear in the heart of that person who has been granted fearlessness so this is the power of faith in our spiritual masters words i will end with a small thing some years back you know they wanted to check out what is the value of people coming together and expressing something so they brought 7000 monks sadhus together and for 3 weeks the sadhus were told you have to think positive of this world so at different places around the world 7000 sadhus they are saying let there be no crying let people love each other let people have friendly relationships with each other that's all they are thinking so what happened is during these 3 weeks the crime rate came down by 16% the terrorist activities in those 3 weeks came down by 72% the suicide rates in those three weeks also came down by a significant percentage and the only change that happened in those days was 7000 sadhus were praying to the supreme lord that let the world become a better place so actually till einstein became famous in physics there was something called as newtonian mechanics the father of physics is newton isaac newton so he gave a material understanding of the world around us and what is the change that einstein did einstein said actually even mass is energy and mass and energy are interchangeable so that physics is called quantum physics so it is not a material conception of the world it is an energy conception of the world and according to einstein energy can be obtained by destruction of matter so e is equal to mc square e is energy m is mass and c is the speed of light so he is saying that energy is actually what makes the world it's not the mass so at one point of time all the scientists big big scientists around the universe they said let us find out how much mass is there what is the population of the world today human population so somewhere like 7.9 billion 7.9 billion human beings on this planet so what they did is they made a study you know this is matter right so inside matter if you go the what is there there is a nucleus which is made up of neutrons and protons and there are electrons going around yes so they made a study all the 7.9 billion people whatever electrons protons neutrons of their mass is there na? 
that mass if you take together right now in the atom there is a lot of space between the nu nucleus and the electrons you take up that space and all the electrons and all the neutrons and all the protons whatever mass is there you bring it together you know what is the size of that mass have you seen a sugar cube it is 2 cm by 2 cm by 2 cm all the nucleus all the neutrons all the protons and all the electrons in the bodies of all the human beings on the planet it is brought and the space in between is removed it is equal to the size of one sugar cube 2 cm by 2 cm by 2 cm so what it means is actually it is the energy that is driving the whole universe much more than the mass mass to chota sa hai lekin wo mass ko ghuma to aur hai the energy is moving and that's why einstein the understanding that he gave of quantum physics is now much more accepted so why am i telling you this is just when a group of devotees comes together and if they sincerely are chanting the holy names to the best extent possible you don't know when you are chanting hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 so i see millions of times is holy sadhana for the greatest key the series he starts again the after the first one said millions of circles please so many times millions of circles please why is it any need to say come together aap yahan jo pata hai aap yahan pe ke tarah chale aap yahan pe ke tarah no millions of circles please you form a circle you form a circle you form a circle come together lord chaitanya mahaprabhu is saying naam sankirtan is the yog dharma chanting is not the yog dharma yog dharma is naam sankirtan but we can transform our morning chanting into yog dharma naam sankirtan by coming and chanting together so that's why all our base preachers they will say prabhu ji subah jaldi uth ke sath mein milne ka baat karenge in the ayurveda camp we request for all of you to come together and chant why naam sankirtan millions of circles please and that's why only when we come together in naam sankirtan only when we come together in camp like this only when we come together in ayurveda yatra all of us our combined consciousness our combined prayers can you don't know what can transform this world so one prallar because he was pure he created fear in the heart of the most fearless person here in the shop that is the power of one pure devotee we are not pure but together we can eclipse each other's impurity none of us is better than all of us so but all of us with our imperfections all of us with our own limitations when we come together for japa when we come together for a camp when we come together for a yatra when we come together for sankirtan and they actually participate to the best extent possible can you imagine what a change it can happen in this world so this is something which you can learn from kala one boy with no weapons only shravanam he changed the situation in usa united states of asuras <laughs> but everyone there here in kashyap and all the friends they are all asuras in asura land is the only one vaishnav we are so fortunate that we are in united states of vaishnavas how many vaishnavas are there you know sometimes in the base the devotees will complain to the ayas patient bro ji devotees sara kam karo kyunki sote samay haath aisa kar to ek devotee ko mar lagta hai kabhi kabhi sote samay aisa kar to to idhar ek devotee ko mar lagta hai idhar ek devotee idhar ek devotee idhar ek sab jane ke our complaints are very different bro ji bahut jyada vaishnav ho gaya महाराज just by having faith on his guru's words and listening attentively he transcended the whole situation sab jagah maar peet ho rahi hai cheekhna chilana ho raha hai kuch fark nahi pad raha hai shaan baithe itna shaan baithe ki wo dar gaya so let us all pray to prallad maharaj 
Please let us appreciate the sound vibration that we are receiving. Please let us appreciate the association of Vaishnavas that we are receiving. And please give us that kind of stability inside which can create instability in the hearts of those who want to create a nonsense situation in this world. Thank you so much. Jai Shri Prabhu Bhaji Ki, Jai Shri Shraddha Bhopinath Bhagavan Ki, Jai Pradhaat Maharaj Mahajan Ki, Jai Anant Koti Vaishnav Dhabda Ki, Jai Nidai Gaur Nirman Ki, Hari Bo! Hari Bo! Thank you, 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 the dependence of Prahlad Maharaj. Even Hiran Kashubu was fearful of Prahlad Maharaj's spirit. One who was immortal. And he was fearful of this little child who had not received any privilege. But what was his strength? Listening. Huh? Listening. Faith. Faith. If you have a faith, even a powerful person be fearful of. So, it's so a very beautiful point uh, you were mentioning and uh, about hearing. Prabhupada gave most of the classes on 7.1 and in the same chapter what Krishna is saying? Very few people listen to Ah, you are listening very attentively. <laughs> Others are not listening attentively. See, but this can is to learn. Don't just sit. You have your paper, take that out and write something. You will listen and you will forget. And what is the what was our motto in the beginning? To lead IYS to next level. So what we are going to do? Just be enthusiastic participant. You know? You want to be in USA, but we all want you to be in USB. Very well. Hey, Are you or not? No, no, no. 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 So, uh, a beautiful uh, points Prabhuji was sharing. So, thanks a lot for participating and uh, let us express our gratitude to Prabhuji by loudly chanting Hare Bo! So, now uh, we will be having a question and answer session here itself. So, we will have a question and answer session now. You have any question related to class any other questions, whatever you face in your own life while practicing devotional service, that you feel free to ask in this session. Okay? Yes. Related to sadhana, service, sadhachar, hmm? your own doubts, asam, as, samshayam, isn't it? Prabhuji was saying asamshayam samadram. Hmm? So, anything related to anything, you can feel free to ask. So we will circulate the mic. Uh, Any question? Ready to start? Ruja, I mean, I'm going to talk to you about so you can tell who should answer this question. So, the, if, 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 जैसे भी हम बहुत सारे भक्तों के बीच में तो इसमें बहुत अच्छा भी क्लास चल रहा है तो बहुत अंदर से बहुत इंटू इंटू जर्सी बनता है अभी नाम जब अच्छा होएगा 
और हर स्पिरिचुअल काम में मन लगेगा तो जब हम जाएंगे तो ऐसा है ना तभी हमको लोनली नहीं लगता है कि अभी कोई सपोर्ट नहीं है अपने काम में लग जाएंगे तो उस समय हम कैसा मूड बना के रखेंगे तो अच्छा हरे कृष्ण सो आपका क्वेश्चन है कि अभी तो जब भक्तों के संग में है तब तक हमें बहुत उत्साह लगता है लेकिन हम जब अकेले रहते हैं तो तब उत्साह नहीं होता कम होता ये क्वेश्चन है ना हाउ यू यू फील लाइक दिस है ना भक्तों के संग में आते तो एकदम शेर बन जाते हैं है और भक्तों के संग से दूर चले गए तो समझ है There. <laughs> there. <laughs> yes, uh, everyone our mobile, isn't it? How they function? Charging and discharging. so similarly till the time we don't have a firm faith in the devotional service till that time we go through this ups and downs in devotional enthusiasm and for that reason if you remember in the introductory class what prophet said the story of monastery what was the story of monastery ah what is the crime calling is not the crime not getting up is the crime so when we know we should understand this in our own life too that i am going to go down but what is my responsibility to get up to get up to get connected don't what prabhu ji said that in that class in that introductory class what is our duty make sure that you attend your beginning classes you attend iys camps you attend iys yatras and i am in guarantee as he said you know no no listen that is the guarantee and everyone can give that if you do this you will never see the loss of enthusiasm so our responsibility is to remain connected and the process will take care of your enthusiasm your faith and your devotion so i am committed to the process so everyone should analyze this am i am committed to the process or not otherwise even bharat maharaj on the level of bhav bhakti and i got distracted so what to speak of me and you who are dealing with so many uh messages and so many websites and so many things and our natural attraction goes to various websites isn't it so to curb that we need a powerful association and never ever underestimate the power of association we might be kare last week only i had gone to the program what is the need for this week hai na abhi to prabhu ji pichle 6 saal se i am attending regularly what is the need for this so when this mentality creeps in you should understand that you are going in another direction so make sure the devotional process is powerful your commitment to that process is important so check out your commitments to the process it has no one has seen till today the one who has sincerely committed to the process has gone distraught or uh, astray from the path of devotion ऐसे कभी नहीं होगा प्रहलाद महाराज बहुत भक्ति कर रहे थे सिंसियरली और आचार्य उनको कुछ दिख गया तो उधर पे लेके 
Have you ever seen any passage in Bhagavad Gita? Because then they don't have any interest in the Bhagavad Gita. No. Why? Commitment to the process. So whether whatever obstacle we go through, whether it is exams, whether it is pressure of uh, so many deadlines, all other things, one must be committed to the process. And you will be able to maintain your enthusiasm. 100% full battery every day. Then if you would like that, I will tell you. In Sanskrit, this is called the Hidayat Dauda Balya. ये जो इधर बोला ना टिपिकल उसको प्रभु जी ने बहुत अच्छे से आंसर दिया बट इस टेक्निकल इमेज ऑफ द संस्कृत था कि जब वैष्णव के बीच में है तो बहुत अच्छा लग जाता है बहुत स्ट्रांग लगता है और जब वैष्णव से छोड़ती जाते हैं अकेले में तो वीक हो जाता है उसको हृदय दौर्बल ले बोलते हैं दौर्बल का तो बोल हृदय दौर्बल ले डिसीज देयर इज ओनली वन मेडिसिन गुड इलेक्ट्रोनियल यस व्हाट इज इट साधु संत और डिफरेंट डिसीज डिफरेंट मेडिसिंस सो बोल हृदय दौर्बल ले साधु संत दिस ओनली So when you are weak, please do not run away from devotees. Keep your head down and be cool. Actually, when we are weak, we have to run towards devotees. So catch hold of some strong devotee, and your Riddhay Dorbanya places can be. I just wanted to add that Sanskrit yes. word. Yes. Yes. So thank you. Catch, very catch hold of your counselor. Yes, yes. So thank you. There is no other way. There is no other way. There is no other way. Kitabe, kitabe, baat nahi karte. Books don't talk, but the devotee will talk. Um, here. Okay. Are you good? Are you good? Thank you so much, bro. What time you have left? So that's a lot of work. You are. But ah. बट ऐसा पूछने के लिए थोड़ा इंटरसेट हो रहा था बट मैं लोग पूछूंगा तब तक ये छुट्टी रहेगी तो मैं कमेंट करूंगा बट थोड़ा एक आपने जो लेक्चर में टू जे आपसे पूछा हूं कि अभी आपने बताया कुछ टर्म्स ऑफ वर्ड बदलिए के बारे में आप बात कर रहे थे तो टू जे मेरा क्वेश्चन ये है तो इसके साथ बहुत टाइम तक कुछ ना कुछ वर्ड मतलब कोई हमेशा कुछ ना कुछ उसको बोलता रहता है हार्श वर्ड और उसके फ्रेंड्स हो रिलेटिव्स हो कलीग्स कोई भी हो उसके साथ बहुत बुरा तरीके से व्यवहार करते हैं तो उसके माइंड में सर्टेन एज तक मतलब कुछ सालों तक कंटिन्यूस छः साल सात साल तक ऐसा हुआ हो तो वो विचार तो अंदर से पूरा पूरा हो गया रहेगा उसको सेंस नहीं होएगा आपने जैसे कि बताया प्रेजेंट का एग्जाम्पल देखिए तो उसके अंदर सेंस अभी बन नहीं रहे वो इमोशन जागृत नहीं हो पा रहे वो है ठीक है लोगों के बीच में आ जाता है लोगों के साथ रह लेता है जैसा अभी फ्लेवर है वैसा हो जाता है उनके पर जैसे वो थोड़ा अलग होता है तो फ्लेवर चला जाता है वो पूरा से इनसेंसिबल हो गया तो ये अभी वो नॉर्मल किस तरीके से होगा क्योंकि बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस ये फेस हुआ है लोगों ने बहुत तकलीफ देने वाला चीज है जिस तो प्लीज डू दिस पेट एंड टेक दिस लर्न आई आई शो यू समथिंग व्हिच इज यूजुअली आई डोंट डू आई सिट ऑन द फ्लोर ना ब्रह्मचारी एनी ब्रह्मचारी यू सी ना ये दिख रहा है आपको? You know what this is? If you sit on the floor cross-legged, then this touches the floor ना? इस तरफ नहीं। So do you understand this? So this has become thick skin, ऐसे मोटा हो गया। You know what is solution to this? तो अपने oil, उसको कड़क बन गया है, उसको तो oil लगाना पड़ता है। You understand this? So हर चीज के लिए दवाई है, आपको मालूम होनी चाहिए। so if you look at this ना many of my relatives बंदे से बोलते हैं क्या कर रहा है तू कौन से आश्रम में रह रहा है ऐसे कर रहा है तेरे से तू कब उसी में नीचे जमीन पे बैठ के कर रहा है तो तू ऐसा सालों साल कर रहा होगा इसलिए हो गया होगा कुछ नहीं हुआ सर्दी हुई है तो थोड़ा अदरक लेंगे तो सर्दी चली जाती है निमोनिया हुआ तो अदरक लेंगे तो होगा Cold, little common cold, you take other, go get them. But when it becomes intense, that same medicine won't work. Then you have to increase the medicine. Now pneumonia के आगे चला गया COVID. So COVID में can you use common cold medicine? In COVID, which is third stage, I'm saying, can you use the pneumonia medicine? 
सो कॉमन कोल्ड इज स्टेज 1 उसके लिए स्टेज 1 का मेडिसिन काम करेगा स्टेज 2 इज निमोनिया उसके लिए स्टेज 2 का मेडिसिन लगेगा स्टेज 3 कोविड से लगेगा उसके लिए कौन सा मेडिसिन लगेगा स्टेज 3 का मेडिसिन लगेगा डॉक्टर लोग बैठे बराबर है तो सिमिलरली प्रभु और एक नॉर्मल पर्सन का नॉर्मल लेक्चर में आना वगैरह हो जाता है एक नॉर्मल आदमी कभी उसको अब्यूज नहीं हुआ कभी उसको किसी ने क्रिटिसाइज नहीं किया हफ्ते में एक हफ्ता लेक्चर अटेंड करा थोड़ा वहां पे सदन में जाता है इफ वी आर अब्यूज विक्टिम्स इफ वी हैव बीन सब्जेक्टेड टू सीवियर डिजीज यू अंडरस्टैंड पॉइंट देन वी नीड इंटेंस मेडिसिन तो इसी किसी के मन में ऐसा कोई हुआ नहीं है कुछ बुरा बुरा देखा नहीं है उसके साथ हुआ नहीं है उसने सुना नहीं है एक हाथ प्रोग्राम में अच्छा लगेगा But if we have been subjected to, you know, six or seven years of constant harsh words and abuse, it means we need greater intensity of Krishna consciousness. That's my first point. So, for the, you know, knowledge of all of you, we have a facility where working devotees can come and stay for one year in the temple. Any one of you, if you are following some minimum standards, you can come and become a resident of Seven K Munshima. And the owner of Seven K Munshima is. राधा गोपीनाथ के घर में राधा गोपीनाथ आप सबको बुला रहे हैं आप आके मेरे घर में रह सकते हैं टाटा बुलाए ना आपको घर में रहने के लिए अंबानी के बोले तो स्टेट करो ये अंबानी के बाप है गोपीनाथ जी बोल रहे मेरे घर में आके रहिए है मेरा महाप्रसाद खाइए रोज सुबह मेरे दर्शन लीजिए और मेरी आरती रोज लीजिए One year of your life, why don't you come and join Sri Sri Radha Govinda Temple? You work and all that, but you know, stay with Radha Govinda. So, ये intense medicine जब मिलता है ना, तो कितना भी बुरा disease हो आपका, सब धुल जाएगा. Yes. And if you are not able to do that because of certain situation, I will honestly tell you that you need to discuss this with some proper trained counselor, not our advice counselor. बाहर की काउंसलर रहते हैं ना तो पूछना पड़ेगा कि आई हैव मेनी वोंड्स इन माय हार्ट आई हैव सर्टेन पर्सनालिटीज इन माय फैमिली और एट माय ऑफिस और अराउंड मी दे कांस्टेंटली स्पोक डिप्रेसिंग डिस्करेजिंग वर्ड्स टू मी एंड आई हैव सम वोंड्स सो देन यू नो बाय सम अदर वेज आल्सो इट कैन बी डन इन केस यू डू नॉट कम बट आई आई कैन टेल यू बाय कमिंग क्लोज टू यू नो साधुस आर स्टेइंग इन द टेंपल प्रभुपाद इज देयर तुलसी देवी इज देयर अदर गोपीनाथ आर देयर दिस यू टू जफा इन टेंपल हॉल Staying in temple is a very different experience. So this is my reply to you. Her stage के बीमारी के लिए उस stage की दवाई लेनी है। अगर हमारी बीमारी बहुत बड़ी है, तो दवाई ज़्यादा लेनी पड़ेगी। लेकिन आपके जो भी counselor हैं, उनको बोलिए ये प्रभु जी कहने का मैं stay in the base if you are staying at home. So increase your medicine. अगर आप base में रहते हैं तो मंदिर रहिए। मंदिर में रहते हैं तो उसके लिए मतलब आना भी दिए हैं और एक रस्ते पे <laughs> One step ahead. <laughs> yes, you join the army. Full time army is also there. <laughs> so, solutions are available. Please take the necessary steps and increase the intensity. Okay. So, what we have to say is, uh, Vaishnava Training Academy and the Radha Govinda Temple. So, that is the one platform where uh, you can. Address those things, and then treatment can take care of those problems. Thank you. So, Guruji, I was having some same issues like uh, family issues, say, there was always constant OT. So, I was like, okay, we can uh, like store our head with you. Then, uh, from like four or five months, I'm staying in Wallis. So, I am like, from what you said, I have experienced that I just have to do it. He seems to be okay with any of our zero type and other uh, things to do. Prabhu is saying he has experienced some change. Any other question? Thank you. Okay, question.
I cannot stand even a Vaishnav when he goes ahead. Envy. So, is it not? All these are different diseases. Other things are different. So, growth is not medicine, it is envy. It is not medicine, it is not medicine. How can we say that the general lecture that is given to 20 devotees in a Vyavas program is the medicine for me? I don't need to meet a doctor separately. You ask any doctor. Will the doctor in OPD have 200 people in the OPD? No, it doesn't seem to be. The doctor is sitting at the table, you are a general. Does the doctor give general medicine to 200 people who are sitting in the OPD? You tell me what doctor does that. Doctor sir, 200 people are sitting in the OPD. Okay, you, all of you, you take this medicine. No, the doctor will say, I cannot give medicine like that. Let him come and talk to him. Darwaja Bhagavad Gita. Darwaja Bhagavad Gita, the doctor is sitting there. He will be a pain. He will go to the other side. Darwaja Bhagavad Gita. So some general principles are spoken in our classes which will help you. But actually if you want to progress in bhakti, all of us need to have an individual relationship with our counselor. Actually bhakti is a very personal process. The IYS programs are beginning of that relationship. All of us, you know, we should take that step ahead and contact our IYS counselors on a personal level and seek guidance on a personal level. So that we can receive guidance. Which is customized for this. Okay. So I specific, specifically have few small questions. So if you answer them one by one, one by line, it's total nine. Uh, so uh, what what is about from your teaching? You mentioned that. Uh, that rise and falls that comes in our life, and if we take shelter, so duties gradually become zero. You mentioned zero. So what does that zero actually mean? After that zero, you only rise. Does that mean this thing? Second is probably we are always. I'll, I'll answer that first one. Yes, actually it means that there is a stage from which there is no fall down. Okay, good. Thank you. Sir. Second. No, no, equilibrium point. See, one way to not get wet is to take an umbrella but stay below the clouds. And one way to not get wet is to go above the clouds. So this material world is telling you, you stay under the clouds only. I will give you an umbrella, somebody will say I will give you a raincoat, somebody will say I will give you this, I will give you a jacket and this and that. Yes. Krishna consciousness is saying, you do, till the time you are under the clouds, you do all this. But don't stay contented, staying under the clouds, finding the real solution to never get wet is to rain under the clouds. So, bhakti is the process that you have told me, you have to do it, there is no problem. But the final solution is to go above the clouds. So, you have to raise your consciousness so high that what he says and what they do and what all of this is going on is never going to stop on you. Ramayana ke samayi mein bhi, finally manthara mein kaan bharay thi. To kaan bharna tab se chal. <laughs> gossiping is going on since that time. So if somebody is gossiping about us in this age, what do I do in a distance? You know, finally we have to raise up. So by our sadhana, by our you know, association, by our participation in these activities, we have to become so you know, situated, stable inside. We don't get affected by what people talk about us, what people try to kill us. You know. We do the needful till the time we are below the clouds, but finally we have to raise above the clouds. So then we will not fall. Krishna Surya Sama, Maya Hai Andhakar. Jaha Krishna, Taha Nai, Maya Ra Adhikar. Stay always in sunlight. Kaha hai? Andhera kaha hai? Beat karenge to andhera hai. Aap hamesha bhagwan ko dekhe ki kaha hai? So always try. Try to situate yourself in the association of sincere devotees. Try always to read something. Try always to hear something. That's how we change. We cannot change by just wishing bhagwan to change karata. भगवान को तो मैं चेंज करने के लिए ट्राई कर रहा हूँ लेकिन तू स्वीकार भी तो कर रही है मैं खाना परोस रहा हूँ तेरे प्लेट में फुकट में दे रहा हूँ तेरे को लेकिन उसको खाने को प्लेट में तो उठा के मुंह में तो डाल विशेष चेतन मामलों तो बोल रहे हैं मैं तेरे मुंह में भी डाल रहा हूँ कम से कम ये चूत 
Thank you so much, Guruji. Uh, second and third question, any one of you can answer. Yeah. So, so Gaur Vilas Prabhu, second question is certainly the third question. Would like to add to this first question? Yeah. Yeah. A devotee goes through four phases in life. As you just hearing Chaitanya Charan Prabhu. So he was telling that, you know, first is effortless defeat. Maya Devi ka putni aagya. Kuch bhi aagya, if you surrender. That happens in all of us have gone through that phase. In the beginning years of our national consciousness. Anything comes up, we surrender all our guards. Then, after practicing through for many years, then we come to the second stage. Struggle and defeat. Now we struggle to, and we resist our temptations, but still we get defeated. And that's what happened to Ajamal. So he was trying, but he was defeated. So he was a devotee, but he tried and he was defeated because he was not so strong. Then, after many years of practice of uh, Bhakti and Anandanivirti, then he comes to the third stage of struggle and success. Now he is able to resist the temptations. And uh, you know, so there is this stage. This is a phase, stage where you know, all of us should try to come to. And this is a very difficult stage to be on because it is uh, not so easy. And uh, Krishna is aware of our problems. Many times you think, Bhagavan, they are saying that problem is going on. They are saying that they are going on with their own problems. They are saying that they are struggling with 16 rounds and speak to us. But Krishna is aware of our you know, conditioning, Krishna is aware of our struggles. There is a nice verse in Bhagavatam, he says, Bhatya maano ke mat bhakto vishaya rajitayantaya, praya praja bhaya bhaktiya vishaya naam bhaktiya. So this is a very giving verse. You know, Krishna is telling to Brahma that although this, this is for everyone else, Bhatya maano pi, Krishna is saying, although my devotee is conditioned, vishaya rajitayantaya, he is uncontrolled in his senses. How many of us feel like that? Uncontrolled in senses. So, so, so Krishna knows our problem. Madhya mana, madhya hai, vishaya rajita indriya hai, but the third line is very important. Praya pranal bhaya bhaktya. But if one continues to struggle to the best of his capacity, pranal bhaya bhakti means intense devotion. Vishaya nabi puriya. We may lose some battles, but we will win the war. That's what Krishna assures all the devotees. So therefore, this stage of struggle and defeat, it is very depressing sometimes. But just you know, continue with patience. And then we will come to this struggle and success. That's what Proji said. That is like a Riday So, you know, Krishna Chakradi Chakra says, you know, this is also another word which is Utsahamai. The Naina Divorty, I think, I said, I don't have Joe's love for the Naina Divorty. Adi Ratham love, I read him. And after a few days, he is not seen on him. He is a problem, I don't know what he is doing. So that's the sign way which goes on. Utsahamai, so that is the that everyone has to go through. So just tolerate our Ananda. That is the first instruction Krishna gives to Arjun. Tamti Tikshas. Then the oh, fourth stage will come, effortless success. Just like that, when Maya Devi came to Aridas Thakur, he didn't have to think of what to do. Krishna Nama Vishnu Mana Sada Taviras. Arande Rodi Taviras Tivamata. She says, Taviras Goswami says, because Haridas Thakur was absorbed in Krishna's name, so for him it was not a difficult thing. So in that, there is a nice thing which Haridas Thakur is telling to Maya Devi. He says, Yavat Kirtan Samapte Nahi Nakariyan Nekam. Kirtan Samapte Hajilabhaya Dikshara Vishram. He says, Till the time Mera Japa Khatam Ni Hotem Na Kuch Nahi Karna. So if we can make this as our logo, as our, you know, mission statement. Mera Mala Karne Ke Baadhi Mein Aya Kuch Karne Wala. At least most of the rounds we should do it, you know. Then it will be easy to come to the stage of struggle and success. And then a wordless success is uh, awarded by each. Thank you so much, Prabhuji. Uh, Prabhuji, next question is, Prabhuji, we are always taught to practice gratitude. So for us, like for devotees, we have the strongest reason to practice gratitude is because we have the holy name. In fact, when Prabhupada mentions in 6th chapter, one of the purposes of 6th chapter of Bhagavad Gita, the person who can chant Hare Krishna Mahaprabhu is with this person in this world. 
but we have that that much of higher thing as we trust but we do not have that much of higher gratitude so those gratitude practice kar rahe hain bhagwan ko thank you bol ke prasad ji ne ki aur sab ke liye lekin that wo heart se gratitude nahi hai wo heart se gratitude See when uh, when we talk about gratitude, uh, we also understand the mercy given to us. So if we when we are saying it is not coming from heart, that means we have not understood the gift given to us. When you realize that I was utterly unqualified to receive something. and i have given without any qualification so automatically agar if you are a cultured person so either one thing happens so you either we don't we are uncultured we don't know how to reciprocate what we have been given or you have not understood the importance of the gift you have been given so even though we, we have received this devotional service we have received the holy name of the lord but we are not valuing that and what is the what is the expression of gratitude how do we express that gratitude how i shall show my gratitude by similar the, the, the way the one who has given the gift he will he has also told us you how to utilize this gift so if you are practicing this devotional service as per the instruction given by the parampara then you are expressing the gratitude when we don't follow those instructions then of course we are not understood the gift and we don't value the instruction in a way to reciprocate like the any better the way the way is been told by the abacharya only take this process series we are doing the process and that is an expression of gratitude but we are not that grateful to okay, this is the highest what i want i should be thankful to lord i am not that thankful i should be thankful he has given me i i think when we are committing to the process whatever is been taken that is the time for me see not only thanking just not only with the lips there are many practitioners who say uh, thank god for giving us daily bread hmm? but what of the that and uh, there are three ways to express your thank you agar wo bhakti mein bhi se it's only by lips hmm? are thank you aapne mujhe bahut kuch de diya hmm? then the next step is uh doing something isn't it i am doing something for the cause and the next higher stage is completely surrendering to the cause isn't it so this is how we express our gratitude it is not just uh, every throughout the day you say thank you thank you prabhu ji thank you prabhu pa are you do something you give this process to someone if you have received so you give it to someone Preach. That is the expression. Huh? Ha. See. Hey, guys, what did I say? That is the expression of gratitude. It's not just saying thank you, but to doing something. What is the love means? Love is not a verb. Uh, it, it is not a noun. It is a verb. Verb means what? Action. so let gratitude be expressed through action then that is the meaning even if you don't say thank you still krishna will understand you are expressing the gratitude yeah? so let our actions speak so that is a way of expressing our gratitude i hope this answers your question
anything anybody has to do with your story. Yeah, please. Hello, everybody. This is what I'm going to do with story. So, this is Shri Prabhu Bharat. I'm a servant. Second thing is Shruta Kirti Prabhu. And Shruta Kirti Prabhu will always travel with Prabhu. So, any airport they would go. <coughs> When they would land, there would be 20 30 devotees. Jai Prabhupada, Jai Prabhupada. There would be loud kirtan and devotees are jumping. Yes. So Shruta Kirti Prabhu would always be traveling with Prabhupada and he did not have the energy to jump. So he, everywhere they go, two years he is traveling with Prabhupada. Can you imagine? Everywhere they are jumping. Jai, Jai, Jai. Like and Shruta Kirti Prabhu is carrying the bag of Prabhupada and he is washing the clothes of Prabhupada. So he doesn't have that much energy. So one time he went to Prabhupada and said, Prabhupada, Actually, all these devotees they love you so much. Everywhere you go, they welcome you with so much energy, and they make so many nice arrangements for you. Everybody car, And when I go there, I, I just don't feel like dancing. I don't feel like jumping. So, do I love you? Serious question. So, Prabhupada said, "Hmm." He didn't answer. So he felt really bad. So, I had so many people ask me such questions. शायद प्रभुपाद को बुरा लगे कि मेरा पर्सनल सर्वेंट है इसको ही मेरे से प्रेम नहीं बुरा लगे आप प्रभुपाद सो ही ही रियली फेट बैड एंड ही आल्सो स्टॉप इट देयर एंड देन सर्विस वेंट ऑन सो टू थ्री डेज लेटर दोपहर को प्रसाद के पहले प्रभुपाद जी मसाज लेते थे और बाद में स्नान करते थे और प्रसाद देते थे सो शुद्ध कीर्ति प्रभु इस मसाज जी एंड शुद्ध कीर्ति प्रभु फॉरवर्ड कंप्लीटली अबाउट दैट प्रभुपाद आल्सो नेवर मेंशन एनीथिंग एंड देन एज द मसाज इज गोइंग टू प्रभुपाद तो प्रभुपाद को कॉल इन शुरू तो उनके डिसाइड पे तो बोल सकते हैं हम नहीं बोल सकते शुरू तो कीर्ति प्रभु को बोले शुरू तो शुरू तो डू यू लाइक टू वॉश माय क्लोथ्स तो इनको कुछ याद ही नहीं तो बोलते यस प्रभुपाद शुरू तो डू यू लाइक टू मसाज मी यस प्रभुपाद शुरू तो डू यू लाइक टू ऑल योर सर्विसेज दैट यू डू फॉर मी डू यू लाइक टू डू देम यस प्रभुपाद दैट मेक्स यू लव मी Then the Shruti Kirti Prabhu understood three days back. I asked that question, "Do I love you? I don't." Care. Then Prabhupada mentioned, "Love is not about dancing in kirtan. Love is not just jumping and saying jai jai jai. Love is do you like to serve me? मेरे कपड़े धोने से मैं तुमको अगर तकलीफ हो रही है और मेरे को बोलने love होता है. So what he mentioned, huh? love is not a noun. Love is a verb. So how do we express our love on the spiritual master? We will jump in kirtan." Whenever His Holiness so and so Maharaj ki, we will do that. We should do that. But after that kirtan and after spiritual master leaves, we should obey His instructions also. That is a much greater expression of love and gratitude. So I really like this. Uh, you know, He said, "Mr. Holiness, I have said one. You are jumping. You don't have to answer. You are in the middle of something. Will you chant your rounds every day? Are you really striving to follow the Holy Name every day? That means you are grateful to the Lord." And somebody just goes in front of Prabhupada's photo and says, "I'm really grateful to you. He did not chant. He did not follow the four Vedic principles. So what is the gratitude? The gratitude is only to show how much I'm grateful. So if you follow him, that means you're grateful to him. If you follow him, you want to serve him, that means you love him. Okay. Would be last small question for me, because all three of you mentioned about one. Last question. Last question. Thank you. Thank you. One last small question, I guess. All three of you mentioned about one common thing, which is intensity, and that intensity automatically comes into things whenever we are in critical condition or whenever we are in strong association of devotees who make us realize that we need to be intense because uh, this is how the condition is. But when these two things are not there, either the situation is not there or either the association is not there, intensity fades. So. How can we maintain the intensity? Any ways to maintain the intensity of Krishna consciousness? Just be in association with the devotees who are enthusiastic and intense. Automatically, you will become intense. You can't stay without. You know, if you are not intense, either you will go away. You know, that's why many devotees they have tough time. You know, serving some senior devotees because they are too intense. They are fire angel kind. So if you want to be really intense, be with devotees who are intense. That is simple. Thing. Association is the solution to everything. Okay. Yes, last question. Yes, brother. Okay. Yes, okay. All I say, all I do. Yes. Okay. 
माइक सुमेरी दे रहे हैं माइक माइक so my question is uh, you know every time uh, i want if uh, all of three of you can give one bad experience uh, in krishna consciousness and how to overcome it because what happens you know, <laughs> the question is because you know whenever we go to yoga we sometimes we feel that so any other you only will tend to are kya kan prasad ke liye so that hurts so i mean we have a lot of bad experiences we then someone will sometimes we we don't like us or sometimes some devotee some, say something or you know counselor say something so how we should overcome that bad experience because this may go on I mean, you know we are so much of people coming together so aisa nahi hai ki everyone will like each other but sometimes someone may mistakenly also hurt you so how we should overcome that so i just if you can you know take one of your example how you felt that and how you overcome it <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah it's true actually everyone has to go through aisa nahi ki yahan par baithe hue hai sab log mujhe dekh rahe hain ye is tarah ke are isko to dekh ke sab log dhanda prabhu ji dhanda are everyone is no it's not like that everyone has gone through i'll tell you uh, the bad experience is what i have found and uh, of course uh, how i have been that is subjective uh, uh, with each and every person um so i was just uh, first year in like in uh, 2008 i was in ashram it was the first year of our training and uh, we were uh, given services of doing prasadam seva and also uh, because this was like exclusive brahmachari prasad so uh, during festivals and uh, sunday feast so it, it used to happen in uh, you have stayed in between uh, uh, so there it used to happen and i was asked by our in charge to stand outside and not allow anyone inside the room between room except brahmachari and even if somebody comes with brahmachari tell him to wait ऐसे मुझे इंस्ट्रक्शन दिया गया सो आई वाज स्टैंडिंग गार्डिंग एंड एंड यू आई वाज अलाउड टू गो एंड टू गो एंड सेट मी हैव टू सो वन ब्रह्मचारी केम विद हिज फ्रेंड कांचन विद अ सो व्हाट आई वाज सपोज्ड टू डू दिस आज केम टू वेट सो आई आस्क्ड हिम प्रोजी दिस वेट इज ओनली फॉर ब्रह्मचारी स्टडी बाकी पूरा फिर देन ऑल अदर विल आल्सो बी केयर उन्हें बात उसको लिया मुझे नहीं लिया सो इसलिए आई आस्क हिम सो एज सुन एज आई स्टॉप दैट फेलो द ब्रह्मचारी वाज विद हिम ही इन फ्रंट ऑफ हिम वाज शॉटेड एट मी बोला रे तू समझते क्या है अभी अभी आश्रम में आया है और डू यू नो किसके साथ पंगा लेना है and uh, everyone like I was at that moment. This is what in charge has told me, and uh, I was really feeling bad. Uh, how how is he doing and how is he feeling? But then uh, overcoming this, I mean, I I was like that day. It was like uh, such a. This is all the same. Are you are this saying? He abhi abhi aaye. Do you know in whom you are talking to and whom you are stopping? Mm. So then. I realized that our in the in the classes in the association of the devotees, uh, we have it's not that his fault or someone else's fault. Hmm? I realized that I could have been a, a present a better way. It was not uh, of course other and then later on when I am taking someone inside for prasadam, uh, you know the person he might be. given you instruction the inchar might have given you instruction here but check out who is there with that person so sometimes uh, we have i realize it was sometimes our immaturity hmm, that uh, need to be more clear about what instruction we receive and how to apply those instructions 
check out what is what. He has said not allowed anyone from outside. ऐसे नहीं बोला था कि अरे किसी ब्रह्मचारी उसको लेकर आ रहा है तो उसको भी रोक देना So it was our speculation on our interpretation of that instruction. So then over the period of the time we idealized so, okay. If somebody chastened me like that, it was not intentional, it was a construction. And that devotee is also not like that. So this is how uh, we have to face such things. And I think it's, it's quite insanely quite embarrassing. So this is my bad experience and this is how I and uh, till now okay children okay I will be <laughs> he's there I'm there <laughs> still things are going on okay this is one of the bad experiences if you and uh, not and uh, that that dude is also good devotee and it's really loud one and uh, everyone else every other things are also going on but oh tab oh samay ke liye i was thinking uh, is this the vishnu ha yeah say vishnu i say baat karte hain ha theek hai lekin aise nahi that is uh, day to day details not to take so serious and uh, everyone has to face some or other kisi ke na kisi ke sath to kuch na kuch hota hi hai when you are you are ha na prabhu ji once we had given very wonderful example uh, porcupine porcupines hote porcupines porcupines na unke uh, ye hote uh, kaate hote unke sharir par so and they stay in a very cold place to agar unko agar bachna hai if they have to survive in that cold weather hmm? so they have to come together ek sath sabko rehna hai lekin wo jab ek sath aate hain to what happens उनके जो काटे हैं वो एक दूसरे को चुपते हैं तो अभी उसको डिसाइड करना है द पर्सन हैज टू डिसाइड कि वो काटे सहन करना है या ठंडी से मरना है उसको काटे नहीं चुनेंगे बट क्या होगा और फिर आप ठंडी से मर जाए ठंडी से मर जाए So similarly, devotee association is like that. When we are coming together, we are all like porcupines. One to the other, maybe one will be hurt, and one will be hurt. But when we are together, we will survive in Krishna consciousness. But if you think, "Are you just a devotee?" I say, "I, I, 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 सोचेंगे कि अरे मैं अपना अकेला भक्ति करूंगा ना मेरे को क्या किसी करते वॉट विल हैपन स्लोली स्लोली दीप विल ड्राइव एंड बाई कोल्ड सो दैट वी ऑल हैव टू डिसाइड सो वी विल गेट दो हर्ट्स दो नोट्स है ना पोक्स बट विल हैव टू डिसाइड विल है दैट इज आवर वी आर practicing devotion i hope this will help us so i know i have near your questions so we'll have question and answer session again tomorrow so don't worry so please write down, write down your questions so now i have put a link on the group so it is a, a link for the online quiz training quiz so you just log in and it will be it is a timed link you know, only 25 minutes you will be automatically logged out so ek baar login kiya to log out nahi kariye pura karke log out kariye otherwise dobara log in nahi kar payenge so you can please log in and complete as soon as possible because lunch is starting in 5 minutes thank you very much hare krishna prabhupad ki